How's that? Well, I make several executive presentations every month, and I've never really been satisfied with my overhead transparencies. They either take too long to prepare, or it's too expensive to send to our graphics department. I see. Then I'll introduce you to the Mac Paint program, which will illustrate the superior graphics capabilities of Macintosh. Now, is there anything else? I don't think so. Let's get started. Okay. I'll use Macintosh to demonstrate how simply and easily you can create a budget and then summarize the results. Then I'll show you how simple it is to prepare a memo. And since you mentioned it, I'll create an attractive overhead transparency uh, using the budget information. But before we get started in actual applications packages, let me show you what you see on the screen. Now, when you turn Macintosh on and then insert the disk, this is what you see. It's called the electronic desktop. It's just like your office desk. It's where you do your work. Mm -hmm. yeah, Gary proceeds to introduce Lisa technology to Jane, just as he did for Walt previously. He makes sure to point out the icons, mouse, and pull-down menus, and demonstrates how to point, click, and drag. Right. Now, let's create the budget we talked about a minute ago. With Multiplan, Macintosh lets you develop financial spreadsheets and then ask modeling or what-if questions. Mm -hmm. You can project the results of a number of different options very quickly. Now, if you can give me some numbers, I'll create a sample spreadsheet. Okay. During the next few minutes, Gary constructs a simple spreadsheet using Jane's numbers and summarizes the results. Jane is impressed by Macintosh's speed and ease of use. Gary quickly writes a memo and inserts the spreadsheet summary. Finally, for the overhead transparency, Gary inserts the same spreadsheet summary into a Mac Paint document and graphically highlights some of the information. What you've just seen, Jane, are three programs written by different companies. But because of Macintosh's use of Lisa technology, they all use the same consistent mouse-driven commands and pull-down menus. And you can easily exchange information from one to another by simply cutting and pasting. You may remember reading in the brochure that Macintosh has a 32-bit architecture that makes the Lisa technology possible. Systems with less powerful processors wouldn't be able to provide this ease of use and the time-saving simplicity of point, click, cut, and paste that you just saw with Macintosh. That was really something. I'm starting to see how Macintosh could make my day a whole lot easier. Saving you time and increasing your productivity is what Macintosh is all about. And Macintosh comes complete, all in one transportable box that will take up no more room in your desk than a stack of papers. Jane, I think Macintosh is what you're looking for, don't you? Well, it does seem easy to use, but I'm concerned about Macintosh's memory capacity. What if I outgrow it? I think I can put your mind at ease about this in a couple of ways. First, as you saw, Macintosh's 128K of RAM is more than enough to meet your current needs with the programs we've seen today. That's because Macintosh's built-in 64K of ROM contains the Lisa technology that applies to every program. This makes more of the 128K of RAM available for your work. Hmm, what else? A second point is that the digital board in Macintosh has been designed to accept 256K RAM chips. This means that Macintosh can become a 512K system. We'll be offering this upgrade option as soon as the chips become commercially available at a reasonable price. What do you think? Well, it may not be necessary, but it's a good alternative if I need it. Finally, there's another excellent option you might consider. You can move up to the next product in our 68,000 family, Lisa. Lisa is the most powerful advanced business system featuring the Lisa technology. Lisa has a larger capacity than Macintosh, and it offers multitasking, which means that it can perform several jobs at the same time. The Lisa option is open to you, but again, Jane, Macintosh can handle all your current needs easily. It's definitely the most cost-effective solution for you. Well, what if I do decide to move up to Lisa at some point? Is it compatible with Macintosh, or will I have to start over? You'll be happy to hear that Macintosh programs can run on Lisa. Macintosh is compatible with Lisa. And what about software options? Apple is fully committed to ensuring that there's an abundant amount of software available for Macintosh. In fact, over 100 leading third-party software developers began writing programs for Macintosh even before it was introduced to the public. Now, here's a list of what's currently available. How does that look? Hmm. Well, 
That's about everything I'd need. And when it comes to accessories, Macintosh can be configured to meet your needs. Uh, you can add a printer, numeric keypad, external disk drive, data communications capabilities, and Apple has even provided a Macintosh carrying case. Good. It seems Apple has thought of everything with Macintosh. Well, Jane, it looks as if Macintosh is the system for you. Would you like us to deliver it to your home or your office? Send it to my office, please. Congratulations. I'll start the paperwork. Another sale. Gary was successful in showing Jane how Macintosh could help her meet her objectives. His demonstration was focused on creating the types of work she does every day, so she could understand the true value of Macintosh. Gary also understood his product. He knew what made Macintosh unique and was able to answer her questions in a knowledgeable manner. Did you notice how effectively Gary emphasized the benefit of point, click, cut, and paste? No complicated commands. Quick and efficient exchange of information between programs. Gary was successful in both selling situations with Walt and Jane because he stressed the benefit of the four key features of Macintosh to the customer. He made sure they understood the ease of learning and the ease of use provided by Lisa Technology, the powerful 32-bit architecture that's required to make Lisa Technology work, the superior personal productivity tools that third-party software applications provide, and it's in one complete transportable box. Finally, it's an Apple, with all of this power and value at an affordable price. Hopefully, these two selling situations have given you some ideas to incorporate into your own selling activities. Now it's your turn to show your customers the most advanced personal productivity tool on the market today. Macintosh from Apple.